Hello and welcome to this video. In it, we'll cover how to update an entry using REST API and test HTTP client. We'll continue from our basic template where we start by creating a token and we end by releasing the same token. And in between, we can perform multiple operations. In this case, we see request on line number nine, fetching all the entries on ZZ test REST form. And line number 12 is creating an entry on that same form with the values defined on line number 16. So I'll run the script as it is, just to get information about this uh, form. I have the flags to have information on the console, and that's the information. I'll scroll up a little bit just to get the information on the request. So these are the requests that we have already stored on that form. And I see request ID number one, request ID number two. And I see the short description of request ID number one as test 456. So I'll use that information. I'm copying that string. And instead of uh, leaving this URL as is, I'll add the entry ID at the end. So in order to update an entry, instead of using post, you would use put method, the form name, and finally the entry ID. And instead of passing all the values as you would use to create an entry, you only need the values that you want to update. So in this case, I'm going to say updated from rest. And I'll save the script, go to the console, and execute it. And what we're getting is this put method in the logs for that request number one. And the response is 204 without a content, so that's good. Now, if we scroll up a little bit and try to get the information from request number one, it wasn't updated yet. It still says test 456. So I'll run it again just to get the information back. I see that we've updated it again, but before updating, I'm fetching the requests and I see update from REST with HTTP client. And that's the script that you can use to update an entry using REST API. Thanks for your time.